Relationship advice. My dad's, 43, girlfriend is trying to get rid of me, 15 female. My mom passed away 5 years ago, and I think of her every day. My dad went through a really bad depression, and I had to take care of myself basically. During the Christmas holidays, my dad told me that he had been seeing someone for a while. I noticed that he was happier, and I guess, I was happy for him. I didn't want him to be lonely forever, but I did feel like my mom was being erased completely. He never wanted to talk about her, and he got rid of all pictures with her in them. He said that his girlfriend will be spending Christmas with us and then moving in. I wasn't happy at all. I don't even know her, but I didn't say anything. I met her on Christmas, and usually my dad and I put the star on the tree that day. We would put the star on the tree and watch the Grinch. It's our tradition, and we kept it, even when we were grieving my mom. It's the only tradition from when she was with us that we actually kept. When his girlfriend came over, he put the star on with her, while I was in the bathroom. Also, we didn't watch the Grinch because she hates it. I know I sound spoiled and childish, but I was so angry. We've been doing this my whole life, and she just came in and destroyed it. The whole night, she didn't even bother getting to know me at all. She was all over my dad and pretty much ignored me. I told my dad about how upset I was about our tradition, and he said I should grow up, and that things change. I didn't like her because she gave me a bad feeling, so I never got close to her. She complained to my dad about it, and he got mad at me for not making her feel welcomed. I felt bad because she makes my dad really happy, so I tried being more friendly with her. In front of my dad she was nice to me, but when we were alone, she ignored me, or spoke to me with attitude. She even told me that I was a brat, and I make my dad's life harder. I told him but he didn't believe me, and yelled at me for trying to sabotage his relationship. He said that I wanted him to die alone and be sad, and that I was selfish. I was so shocked because none of it is true. My dad basically treated me like I wasn't there at all after that. I felt like I did when my mom died, all alone. I stayed up really late one night because I just couldn't sleep, and wanted to sneak in a midnight snack. The girlfriend was in the kitchen on FaceTime, so I decided to be nosy and listen. She was talking about my dad and how much she loves him. Then she said that he had this dumb daughter, and she wondered if it was too late for adoption. Her and her friend laughed at that. She said that I was a little witch and she hated me. Her friend then said something about boarding school or military school, but I left so I didn't hear the rest. I was so exhausted from all the crying I did, so I actually slept. I didn't tell my dad and I don't even know if I should, since he probably won't believe me. I really miss my mom. I kinda wanna go live with my grandparents, mom's parents, now, but I don't want my dad to think that I'm leaving him. What do I do? Can I even do anything? How do I get my dad to listen to me? Would I be wrong for leaving? Now let's read the top advice before reading the updates. Can you record her? I try and have evidence first, before I go and tell your father, do you have security cameras at your home? This is a good time to have her on tape saying this, like I said, to have enough evidence that would incriminate her to your dad. I don't know if having adult relatives during this talk would work, but I think you should at least have your grandparents, so if he chooses her, then you can live with them. This is perfect. I would do this OP. Dad is thinking with his little brain, not his big one. I doubt a recording would change his attitude. I've read so many stories about situations like this, where the parent chooses the new partner over the child. Besides, making secret recordings of conversations in private is illegal in many states, and we should not be encouraging a child to break the law out of ignorance. OP, write a letter to your dad with all this info and mail it to him. He may not be getting past you reminding him of your real mother in person, and a letter will allow you to lay it all out without there being a fight. Let him know you want him to be happy but you are suffering, and remind him that he is not the only one who lost someone. You lost your mother too. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. Unfortunately, your dad has blinders on right now, and anything you say will either fall on deaf ears, or his girlfriend will spin it so she's the victim. Your dad is making all the wrong moves with introducing a new girlfriend to you, aside of picking a bad girlfriend in the first place. This relationship will have to take its course for a while. Don't feel bad about reaching out to your grandparents, and seeing if you can live with them. Your dad is making selfish choices recently, and you're the only one you can rely on to look out for you right now. Let his girlfriend have him. She'll show her true colors soon enough once they live together day to day. Once she doesn't have you to be ugly too, she'll take it out on him. Yup. She'll take it out to him alright. Don't worry about your dad OP, just think it as an adult lesson in life. 
maybe that will make him appreciate both you and your mom more. He is an adult, perfectly capable of taking care of himself. So, he will only get screwed over, either badly, or very badly, and maybe he will crawl back to you. Go to your grandparents. You can't leave someone who has already left. And emotionally, that is what he's done. Once you are safely away at your grandparents, if he complains, wants an explanation, or anything at all, just send him a link to this post. It's hard to argue with the written word. If he tells you it's untrue or tries to argue your accounting, tell him you won't talk to him if he's just going to undermine your feelings or insinuate that you're a liar, and that you will not be accused of trying to ruin his happiness, that that was an extremely cruel thing for him to say, and you do not deserve his cruelty. So, go be happy dad, no one's trying to stop you. Then focus on you kiddo, get settled with the grandparents, reminisce about your mom, take the time you need to heal, ask your grandparents if you can have counseling. You might not feel you need it, but sometimes, it's just nice to talk to someone who understands but isn't emotionally biased one way or the other, and it can help you work through your own feelings and give you tools, to deal with things like conflict and guilt. Give your dad time to chew over what you told him, I wish I could tell you everything will work out fine, but there's no guarantees in life. All the more reason you must take care of yourself and do what's in your best interests, and staying with dad is not likely in your best interests. He's putting his relationship ahead of you, so you need to put yourself ahead of his choices. So sorry kiddo, you've had a hard go of it, be gentle with yourself. None of what is happening is on you, regardless of what your dad, or his sneaky girlfriend want to imply. Now for the first update. Hi. Since my last post, I spoke to my grandparents and told them everything. I asked if I could stay with them if I wanted to and they agreed. I then spoke to my dad again, and tried to tell him how I felt and what I had heard. I didn't want to film or record, because I knew that he would be mad at that and wouldn't listen. He didn't believe me again, and thought that I was jealous of having to share him with someone else. I got upset and told him that I was leaving, so he could live happily ever after without the burden of having me around. He looked shocked, but didn't say anything. I had already packed my bags and had brought some things to my grandparents' house already. My dad didn't speak to me for the rest of the day. My grandfather picked me up and I've been there since. I haven't gone home, and I haven't heard from my dad. My grandparents told me that they would handle my dad, and that I shouldn't have to be the one doing it. I'm upset that my dad hasn't called or texted me once, to see if I'm okay. At the same time, I'm feeling so much better being with my grandparents. My grandmother is probably the sweetest person ever, and my grandfather is a little rough around the edges, but he's really a softy. Now for the top comments before the final update. I'm so glad that your grandparents are such awesome people who will show you the love that your dad should have been showing you all along, and that they are willing to deal with your dad for you, it's too big of a burden for you to need to carry yourself. Maybe someday your dad will realize what he's done, but always remember that allowing him back into your life, should be your choice and done on your terms. Allowing him back into your life should be your choice and done on your terms. Could not agree with this more. Far too many people think that family, means having to accept those who hurt us or neglect us. You absolutely made the right decision. Your dad is a fool, and one day he will realize how stupid he was to mess up his relationship with you. You've tried and tried, now he needs to be the one to make the effort to repair his relationship with you. Stay with your grandparents and keep away from that wretched woman. A fool is very kind. Honestly reading this post makes me want to backhand the guy. What an absolute disgrace of a father. Your grandparents are amazing people. Shame the same can't be said of your father. I will never understand parents who choose their love lives over their children. You're better off without him anyway, just focus on living your best life right now. Honestly. I have my nephew, not even my own kid, and F all of my lovers. I will dump them on the spot if I have to choose between my nephew and them. Now for the final update. My dad came to visit me at my grandparents place to talk to me. He brought his girlfriend with him. He said, girlfriend and I have been talking, and we decided that it's best that you stay here. My dad said that I can come clean out my room completely, and he'll help. He also said, that after I get my things, we should also take a break from each other and reevaluate things in a few months or however long it takes. His girlfriend then said something about how she'll take care of my dad for me. In a few days I'll be going over with my grandparents to get my stuff. We'll also be getting the important papers that some of you have mentioned. It doesn't look like I'll be going home anytime soon. I have a new home now, I guess.
To be honest I have been feeling pretty bad about some of the comments. Specifically, the one saying, that since I probably remind him of my mom that's why he's like that with me. He got rid of everything of my mom's and I was the last piece of my mom, so it makes sense he doesn't want me anymore. I really wish she was still here. I think he wants to start over and I wasn't part of that plan. So, I guess that's it. Thank you for all the kind comments. Now for the next story. My, 26 female, husband, 26 male, cut his family off because they didn't want us to get married. His grandfather, 80-90s male, is sick, and he's still refusing to speak to them. My husband and I met in college. His family were nice whilst we were dating, but did a 180 when they found out my husband was planning to propose. They tried to convince him not to and threatened to disinherit him slash financially cut him off, they never went through with the latter, if he did. He'd warned me that his family were elitist when we met, so I wasn't that shocked by their reaction. In the end, he proposed and cut them off completely. They tried apologizing before our wedding, but my husband refused to talk to them and wouldn't invite them. Fast forward to now, we've been married for over two years and his sister reached out to me over Facebook. She said she'd been trying to contact my husband for a week, but he wouldn't respond to her or any of their family and she didn't want to deliver the news in a message. She asked me to ask him to call her. I mentioned it to my husband, and he said he wasn't going to do it, and that this was another one of their games to try and get him to contact them. I relayed the message to my sister-in-law, and she ended up telling me that their grandfather was very sick, and he was desperate to see my husband again. Their family is worried he isn't going to make it. I tried to tell my husband this, but he's adamant that they're lying despite his sister having sent me pictures as proof, he refuses to look at them. His parents have both called me to apologize for how they behaved again, and are begging me to convince my husband to see reason. My husband's grandfather is the person he was closest to, and I know if he passes away without them making up, my husband won't be able to live with himself. I know he's still hurt by how his family reacted, but I think he's letting that cloud his judgment. How do I make him see that they're not lying when he's in so much denial? Now for the top advice. You can't force your husband to get back in touch with his family, and if you try, it's likely to cause problems between the two of you as well. You can say once, I know you're still hurt by the way they treated you and us, but I worry that you're going to regret it if you don't see your grandfather before he passes away, and I don't want to see you hurt even more by this. I totally support whatever you decide to do, but this is the evidence that he's sick, and I believe your sister when she says that he probably doesn't have much time left. Please think about it, and let me know if you need to talk. Then leave him alone. He knows his family better than you, it's possible that they really are using this crisis to try to bring him back in, where the control tactics and manipulation will start again. Trust your husband to know what he needs. If grandpa was closest to him, why did he go no contact with grandpa? Maybe grandpa said something similar to what his parents said, or asked him to give in to their elitist demands to keep the peace in the family. As someone that has cut contact with their family myself, a lot of the times it's far less complicated to just cut everyone off. It is likely that them trying to stop marriage, was the last straw in larger history of controlling behavior. You treat it as singular exceptional event, by but he likely sees it as part of larger pattern. I think it is not just about him feeling hurt. Cutting parents off is hard emotionally. Even if those parents are narcissistic or abusive. He might be refusing to trust them now for that reason, contact might reopen emotional can of worms. If they are the kind of people who could plausibly lie about this, if he is not paranoid, contact is risky. How much do you two talk about his childhood? Maybe it would be worth asking him about. I agree, came here to say similar, this was probably part of a much larger long-standing pattern unfortunately. I encouraged my mom to reconnect with her family after years, and I really regret doing so. They are toxic awful people and I wish I would have encouraged no contact. I saw she was in pain and thought a healthy relationship would make her feel better. I was wrong. There is no possibility of that, now she's back in her toxic family. His insistence in maintaining no contact, makes me think that his issues go far beyond threats of disowning or disinheritance. Maybe they were abusive when he was younger and he hasn't been able to discuss it with you yet, maybe they said unforgivable things about you and he never told you to spare your feelings. As much as I agree with you, I think the most important thing here is to support your husband, regardless of what he decides. They weren't abusive but they did say some bad things. I had a hard time admitting my mom was abusive because she didn't actually hit me. 
saying some bad things could very well just have been what you saw, while your husband had to endure decades of emotional abuse. Sorry, I meant they said bad things about me not to slash about him. I would be your husband in this scenario. I love my family, but if they said bad things about the person I chose to spend my life with, that would be their decision to end their relationship with me. I will not include people who do not include my partner, period. Some things are absolutely not forgivable, and it sounds like he told them that before he cut them off. Any apologies after the fact, are too little too late, and it doesn't matter what the situation is. Your husband went scorched earth to fight for you, and I think you should support that decision. The way he sees it, any bad things about you, are bad things to slash about him. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.